Now, taking a look at Bitcoin, right now Bitcoin is 59,000, up 1.27%. It's May the second, it's about 11.18 in the morning. So you can see we're on the daily time frame. We've been channeling around right here for a while. And yesterday we broke through that support level. Now that was that 60,000 mark. If 60,000 cannot get broken back up, Bitcoin is tanking down, right? We're in a red squeeze. So you know that this is the squeeze pro. It's a volatility measure. It's a real simple way to just visually look at the chart, see the colors. It lets us know when these coins are setting up for a big move, when it goes from red to black, but back to the green. When it gets in the green, that means that squeeze fired. Right now, the Ready Aim Fire Pro, we do have a green sticker. So there are buyers right here at this level, but the momentum is still coming out. And again, since Bitcoin broke, if it can't get back above that 60,000, 60,500, I would expect Bitcoin to bear flag its way down to the 50,000 mark. Where's that 50,000 coming from? If we take this channel that it was in forever and we project it down, that should put us right into that. Again, it might be 48,000 to 52,000 range. If that happens, this squeeze will probably fire to the downside. This will continue to work and it could get ugly for Bitcoin. Taking a look at the Traders Edge X crypto software for trading view. This tells me what the institutions are doing, what the retail traders are doing. And look at this. We just got this diamond <laughs> on the day and it's red. So right now, institutions are backing off. We can see because we literally just broke through this channel that we were in forever and if it can't get back above that 60 like i just said a minute ago we're in some trouble now the retail traders are also selling you can see they're starting to accumulate so this might have a little relief rally before these institutions come right back in and sell it we'll have to see we have to get a sell sticker over here but right now money's coming out but that accumulation sticker shows me that you know, some traders, at least on the retail side, are starting to come in. I think that they're gonna get waxed, but if we can get back above that 60,000 and hold it, work our way back up to that 70, 72,000, take another shot at that all time high. Now, taking a look at Bitcoin on the weekly time frame, I've been talking about this for the last month, right? I did an XRP Bitcoin challenge where I bought XRP and Bitcoin every single day for 30 days in a row. And when I started shooting that, we were up here flirting around with that all time high. And I said that there was a high probability that it was gonna come back into the moving averages and form that beautiful bullish cup and handle. That's exactly what we said way before it even started to happen. So if this cup and handle forms and we can get back above the 70 and hold it, where is Bitcoin likely to go next? Well, if we take the measuring distance from down in this area up to here, Bitcoin's looking at 100 to 110,000. So if we can form that cup and handle, break across the top, then I would expect Bitcoin to work its way up to 100 to 110,000. Now, will it go in a straight line? It'll probably bull flag its way to the top, but that's where we're looking to go if this cup and handle pattern confirms. And what would really give me evidence of that happen is again, if this squeeze fires to the upside. So man, we rotate a back around, we go from red to yellow. That tells me the bearish momentum's weakening. And then this red dot maybe goes into a black dot and ultimately fires to green. We start to shift momentum on this squeeze pro, this ready aim fire pro works its way up. Then we get back inside that channel and ultimately break the all-time high, but more importantly, hold. We gotta break and then hold that area as new support. If that happens, that 110,000 is definitely in the cards. Now, if you wanna learn how to trade this crypto market or any of the indicators or software that I use to track the big money, the retail, to get our timing, buy and sell, make sure you check down below in the description of this video for more information. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button on your way out. Hit that little bell to get notified when I shoot a brand new video. And if this video interests you and you like Algorand, make sure you watch this video right here. You're gonna love it.